Welcome back, guys. It's Preet coming back to the brand new Binding of Isaac video. Today, we are back with the in streak, going for win number 326 in a row. So without further ado, let's get right into the run, get some gaming going on, have a little bit of fun, and see where this run takes us as Eden on hard mode. Hope you guys are all having a great old day. Today, we start off with Blood Oath, the Jimmy Neutron haircut, the uh, Keeper's Bargain Trinket, which we had the other day, and Coupon. A pretty interesting setup. It's like a really good devil deal setup because we don't exactly want red hearts. Like we want red hearts, but we also want black hearts and soul hearts. Uh, we do have above average tier rate, above average damage, and the seed is L2, J, P, E, Y, B, H. I actually need to start pausing in the beginning more often because there's sometimes I'll sit in the beginning room for like an entire minute. But let's hope this is going to be a good run. I'm a little bit scared of Blood Oath. I can't lie. Um, I'm just glad we don't have an XL floor this first floor. That would be very scary. Um... But yeah, I'm so tired today, guys. I just want to warn you guys. I was thinking about not recording. Then I realized I was like, oh, I, did, I didn't record once already this week. And I'm, I don't know. I don't like uploading very inconsistently. And I don't know. I've just been trying to like slightly adjust my sleep schedule these last these last few days. Just because I was staying up a little bit too late a few nights in a row. So I'm like, okay, if I go to sleep late, I need to wake up like at, at latest noon, no matter what. And sometimes going to sleep at noon still meant i was only getting i was getting less than an hour eight hours of sleep and that's how bad it was so i was like eh, i gotta i gotta fix this um but yeah i'm i'm just a little tired today i i plan to get a bunch of sleep tonight because the, the issue for today was i had to wake up at 9 a.m because i had to go to work at the mathnasium um so yeah it was just it was just kind of an earlier morning for me i'm not used to waking up like anytime before like the earliest i usually wake up is 11. And that's like that's early for me so it was it was a little bit it was a little bit dangerous also 120 volt is crazy good early on in the game i like that yeah oh my gosh thank you for blue candle i don't think i'm gonna take blue candle uh just because i don't think we need it i think we're pretty fine with what we have i like blue candle but i think coupon is just slightly better anyways Today's been an interesting day. Today I went to work, uh, worked for four hours and then had a private session afterwards. And I felt bad because it was a girl who I wasn't told. I was just told that the class was math analysis and I'm not the most comfortable with trig. Like I know trig, I understand trig, but like I don't actively work with trig that often. And nobody who comes to the mathnasium usually has trig that they have to work on. And so it's just this, this subject that if I give, if you're get, if you give me a second, and I look at it for like I can I can give you an answer, but trying to go through like an entire packet with this girl, it wasn't bad. I we got it done. We got through it. I helped her out as much as, like I did help her out. It was just it was a lot of inverse cotangent cosecant um cotangent cosecant and secant. And it's just like it's rough stuff. Doing inverse of any of that is it just gets disasterful. Is what I'll say. Um. Let's see. There is a secret room on this floor somewhere. I'll go do that. But yeah, it was it was rough. But I got an extra hour of work, which I did get paid for, which is sick. Uh, because the way my work works is we have our regular um, hours that we work where we are paid um, whatever rate we get paid, which I've said this multiple times. I get paid like $15 an hour. It's a good amount of money. It's what is considered minimum wage in some places. Um, and so I'm happy to get paid that much. But whenever we get private sessions, we actually make a lot more and we make that on top of our hourly. So I get paid. I got paid $15 for five hours of work today. Plus I was, I got paid my uh, private rate, which I know I'm not trying to like say how much I make to flex. Cause it's not a flex. I am working a, uh, <laughs> not, I, I'm, I'm not trying to, I'm not doing this job for money and that's why I'm okay with explaining how much I make just so other people understand like what kind of like what's happening. Trying to, I'm trying to not hewn. I was about to say the word humiliate. I'm not trying to hum. What's the? I need. I'm trying to show humility. I think that's what I'm trying to say. Because it's kind of. I feel like it's a misconception. Um, sometimes, like right, not right now for most people who watch me. But like some people think that just because somebody does like YouTube and that kind of thing, that they make like a decent amount of money. And like, especially like whenever you look at some smaller people, like you'll see people who are like 200,000 subscribers, they don't actually make all that much money. Um, people with like 200,000 subscribers who get pretty decent views are probably getting like, I don't know. I'm trying to think 
maybe like the like it's probably a pretty average salary for somebody who works like a nine to five job i would i would assume so i'm trying to think i don't know what the like the average hourly is so that's why i don't know anyways i'm gonna go in here real quick just because i do have a lot of damage if i get hit by a bomb i am dead that is quite unfortunate nice okay i'm gonna stay close so i have max maneuverability and i'm fine nice sick and i do get the devil deal which i am going to go into because guess what health kind of just is useless i'll take you and i'm gonna take you because i guess i don't really need red heart health this is actually rough i i'm going to do this this is just the smartest thing for me to do it's actually rough that i have bargains keepers bargain i'm probably gonna drop it i don't actually want to have to pay for it i'll just like pay more attention to it next time but that's a little bit rough but anyways i got twisted pair which is sick um but yeah it's i'm i i feel like i'm not really one of those people who really cares if other people know how much i make from like a job or anything and it's good for other people to know how much you can make tutoring because i mean it's, it's a decent amount of money like especially if i'm if i do private sessions i get paid a decent amount like i there's people who get paid a lot more for having the same like qualifications as i do aka like a high school diploma um like i know people who make like 20 20 an hour with like not like no college or a college degree or anything so i, I promise i'm not saying this it's, it's not it's not a flex i know people know it's i'm not flexing <laughs> i make 15 dollars an hour there are people who make a lot more than that it's just good i just i don't know i i i like to be open I just know that there are some people, I, I understand it, I don't think it's dumb that they think this way, but some people just really don't like people knowing how much money they make, which it's fine. If you don't want people to know, you, people don't need to know that information, but I don't know, I'm always interested to in know what, how much money other people make, and I, 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 like, I'm okay with people knowing how much I make. Um, this is really worth it, because a pretty fly is quite good. And justice can be really good because it can give me a bomb, a heart, and do I want anything else in here? I think I want the soul heart, and we should be pretty good. But yeah, so it, it was a nice day. It's always fun because, like, I don't, I don't really have much expenses. I'm pretty, I'm pretty privileged, I, I will say, because my parents let me live in their house rent free. Um, my parents provide food for me and all that, um, and I'm very thankful for that. So, whenever, I, like, all the money I make is just kind of, like, money that I either save or just, like, use for my own fun. It's nice. It's nice. It's, it's great. But I did just get my, my tax, my tax, not my tax return, but my, uh, my tax document from YouTube this year. I'm not going to talk about the money I made from YouTube, but it was, it was, it was an interesting year. I didn't work that hard on YouTube, but it was good. It was kind of weird because I did work a little bit harder on YouTube at like the beginning of the year in like the February time period. I also did stream for a decent amount of time. So I'm just going to do this real quick, I believe. He needs health, not me. But yeah, it's it's been it's been an interesting year um, for YouTube. I do want to I do really want to just grind YouTube out really hard and like all that. And I'll always say that. I mean, who doesn't want to just be big on YouTube? But Man, does it it takes it takes a lot it really does take a lot it's like whenever i was going like full force and going like really hard and had the most growth i had like that was that was a lot and i mean a lot of work i was i was working like all hours of the day i wasn't talking to friends i wasn't really doing much i really only talked to like my youtube friends which aren't my like they're my actual friends like they are my friends like calvin was calvin was calvin is my friend kelvin and it, it's not like it's not I, I wasn't friends with them but like my my friends that were not connected to the youtube scene i just never talked to it's just it was like it wasn't super healthy the way i was doing it did it give me good results yeah but like it did burn me out and that's kind of like what got me on this path of just feeling burnt out also the fact that at one point i went back to school and it's just been like not a mess but it's just been interesting so i'm gonna take you i know i have coupon right now but i don't need to use it and i think I think I'm just gonna take. Oh my gosh. 
I think I'm just gonna keep Keeper's Bargain for this boss fight, just in case. Cause I don't mind if I can get a 15 cent devil deal and get like a two heart devil deal for free. That'd be awesome. I might just get completely shafted, which would be a little bit unfortunate. Man, we do a lot of damage. It's crazy just how good Incubus and Twisted Pair are. Like, ooh, it's not too bad. I will take you. I think I'll take you for now. I don't have a luck based tier effect, do I? But I'll take the luck. It'll get us more chests and stuff. And also, I think I just go to the next floor. Yeah, that's what I do. Uh, no, I do want to do the. I forgot that we were on this floor. I, the the Wi Fi floor, even though I just saw it. But, yeah, I I would love to just like grind it. I feel like I mean anybody, and I mean it. Like I really do mean it. Anybody can get big on YouTube. It's not like one of those things that is. Like, it is hard to do. It's hard to get traction. But once you get traction, it's hard not to, like, take it somewhere. Like, if you just put work in. Like, the only thing that's stopping me from growing is the fact that I've literally not edited a video and released any edited content in a long time. <laughs> so, if I just kept on making stuff the same scale and size of the Ultimate Guide to Binding of Isaac, I mean, I could have, I could have a bunch of videos that all perform very, very well. It's, it's something that I know that I'm capable of, and I don't, like, I know at least with, like, the Ultimate Guide to Binding of Isaac, it's not my most popular video just out of happenstance. It's because I plan for it to be a, a good video. I, I put a lot of work into it, and if you put work in, I mean, you can, you get, you get results on YouTube. It's, 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 that's all it is. The biggest issue people have with YouTube is that they just, ha like, simply don't have the motivation to actually output content and output content frequently. And it is hard. It is very, very hard. Um, I feel like I was kind of lucky uh, with how I kind of got into YouTube. Because it wasn't like a... It, it was a lot of work, but it wasn't a lot of work at the same time. Because what happened for me was I was doing unedited content for about like four months. And then I finally did this big edited video that was the 1 million percent video. I've explained this a lot of times. I keep on going back to this every once in a while and explaining it just because I like, I feel like it's an interesting thing that some people don't know. But once I made that, I stopped actually making videos for the most part for like four months because I was back in school and I'd been making the content over the summer. Um, but after I made that video, it didn't get views. So all of a sudden in December, it did get views. And I just started growing very, very fast. Not like very fast for somebody who had 13 subscribers. And I got to a thousand subscribers between December like 13th or whatever, when I had like 13 subscribers and um, Dece like December 31st. On New Year's Day, I think it was, I got to, why did I come all the way back here? It was either New Year's Day or slightly after New Year's that I finally got monetized on YouTube and became a YouTube partner, which was really cool. Um, but after that, I was back in school again. Didn't really have the opportunity to make more videos. Then her pens came out and I know life that didn't make any videos. And then I went really hard and I already had like a, a I mean, not a good following, but I, I, had, I had enough people to where like I had some traction. It was pretty nice, but yeah, I just need to, I just need to make more videos. Like I have some ideas. I literally have the, the Kilvin video that, I, that I've had for so long. Just one day, <laughs> who knows? I'm just like, it's kind of weird. The longer I've gone away from YouTube, I feel like the more demotivated I've been. Because for me, it's like I have momentum. Oh, that sucked. I, I for me, like anything that I do that's like kind of like tedious and takes a lot of work. Um, I know that's kind of like redundant, but anything that takes a lot of work, um, I just really have to have good momentum on it for me to do it. Like if, if it was in high school and I had to do a paper or anything like that, I needed to like really like hype myself up and just do it or else I would never do it. And so, I mean, that's pretty much how it still is for me. Um, if I don't do it, like if I don't do something now, I won't do it tomorrow, you know? And with YouTube, it, the only reason I was able to like be so consistent was because I literally spent every hour of the day and consistently was spending every hour of the day doing YouTube. It was just such a routine that like it was hard to stop because just as hard as it is for me to start something it's as hard like that hard for me to stop something it's just how i am i am not paying you out sadly but yeah i want i want to catch up to calvin i want i want to just do it 
work hard and see if I can catch up to him. Will that ever happen? Probably not. I'm going to keep it realistic, but could it happen? It definitely could. And there's a big difference between can something and will something happen. Or can something and could something happen. I definitely could could become the, the biggest YouTuber in the planet. Anybody could. Will I? Most likely not. This is such an easy room if you just move early. And why are there so many tinder rocks on this floor? Okay, we're going to take you. I know I never used Dreamcatcher correctly, but today might be the day. And you might be like, why didn't you use coupon? I don't know. Listen, cut me some slack. I'm doing my best. You know what? We're opening both of these since we have keys. So technically we don't have to use that much resource or that many resources to open these. But yeah, I don't know. I am, I'm, I'm exhausted. It's just, it doesn't take much to burn me out. It's just how it, it's just, I am, I'm fragile at this point. I don't know what it is. It's probably all the caffeine I drink. Probably not good for me. Oh, get away from me, brother. Oh my gosh. That, the rock I didn't actually see on my screen for a second. Okay. Okay, so I didn't know that the farts actually don't hurt you. Okay, you're not dead yet. That's crazy. Uh, we'll come in here first. And this is I, I'm, this is what we wanted to see. I mean, this is just going to be a really easy run because we get a free devil deal every single time we go into a devil deal. Um, because we have coupon. And coupon's a really, really strong item. It's pretty crazy how, how good it is. I am going to go all the way up top to pay this devil beggar out because I think I already paid him a couple times, right? I can't exactly remember. That's not the devil beggar. You know what? Okay. I'm going to lose some health doing this, but I think it might be worth it. It might also very much not be worth it as well. I'm going to do this first, I guess. Oh my gosh. If I took damage right there, I would have been very sad. As you see, my shadow actually has a new effect to it. I'm going to see if I can actually get it to work. It is a little bit hard. Okay, can you, uh, can somebody activate my, my worms, please? Okay, not these guys. These guys are too hard to use to activate my worms. Uh, I will come here. I think this is going to be beneficial because I can pay this guy out a bunch of times. Okay, you know what? That actually worked out very well. I thought I was going to have to leave that room and go back in. But now I actually have a pretty dumb amount of damage. Plus, since I have Twisted Pair, um, it makes it so I just have even more damage. Twisted Pair does 75% of my total damage together. Each one of them does 37.5 damage. Um, the reason why how you can remember that number is because Incubus does 75% of your damage. And Twisted Pair does the same damage split among two characters. Not too bad. But it's, I mean, it's pretty crazy how strong you get because it isn't... It isn't exactly, it's less than, it's a, I mean, it's a 1.75 times damage multiplier, technically, if you want to think about it like that. The only difference between that and the damage multiplier is there is a chance that one of your tiers miss, misses, and it doesn't actually do your full damage, your full potential. Um, t t or tonight at dinner, I don't know why, I I've been studying so much lately, I feel like my brain's just dying, but tonight at dinner, we started watching the, I think it's called The 100. Um, it's this ch this I think it's a Korean challenge show I believe um, That is about like they have brought in ten of like the fittest athletes in the entire universe pretty much That's what it seems like also. I'm gonna take damage here. Probably. Oh, I didn't let's go keeper sack is insane um, They bring in like a hundred of like the fittest athletes So they bring in like professional gymnasts who got like gold medals uh, they brought in pro wrestlers, world strongmans, like all these really, really strong people. And the point of the show is to see who is like, who has the best physique, I think is what it is, or like what the best physique is. So it's a series of challenges. So the first challenge in the show is like a hanging challenge to see how long people can hang. And so as expected, like all of like the really like heavyweight people and all like, not heavyweight, but like people who like the weightlifters and like the bodybuilders, they don't last as long, which makes sense it's, it's really hard for somebody who has a lot of muscle uh to be able to hold themselves up because they weigh a lot more and like the gymnasts for example who literally just hang for a, like all they do is hang and they're not very heavy because they try to weigh as little as possible are the ones who do really well in those kind of challenges so it, I, I feel like I've, I've only seen the first challenge so that's kind of like i feel like what everything's going to be like i'm going to do this i'm going to do buy 
this, buy this, and just get some stuff for free. Just to make sure I have a little bit of money still. Because money is important. But our damage did increase, which is good. Nice. Okay, good. Um, but it's a really cool show. It's it's really fun. Um, it's pretty crazy how fit some people are in this world. Like, I I wish I was fit. I am one of those people who I, I always have the the idea that one day I'm gonna like just work out and get big and strong. But these people are like, they're so they're so fit that no matter what I do in life, I will never be as fit as them. Is that true? Yes. They are just like. They've been dead. They've dedicated their lives to fitness. Some of them, and they're just—they have like ten packs, and they're just like crazy strong. It's wild. Nice. Oh my gosh, I couldn't even see the shadow. But look at all my shadow worms. Nice. They do not have that much health. Uh, I do want to go to the curse rooms. I will do that at some point. I do want to full clear first. That's really fun. I'm excited to see what like how the show goes. Um. Because these kind of game shows are very fun. I will say, it's funny how how many references they talk about, like, about Squid Games. It kind of is, like, real-life Squid Games is how some people have called it. Um, just because it's these challenges where, like, I mean, whenever the people fall in the challenges, it just reminds you of Squid Games. It's, it's a cool show. Man, my brain? Just dying. Like, I, I went to work today, and I just... A, a kid asked me a question. I'm just like, I... I'm like, give me a second. I'm like, I, I can't, I can't think of what the answer to that question is right the second. Oh my gosh, I'm dumb. Nice. I do a lot of damage, but I just, I'm not playing that well. This is fine. I do want to go to both the curse rooms. It will make it so I'm very, very low on health. Is it going to be worthwhile? I believe so. Also, I guess I forgot. Did I buy Dreamcatcher on this floor? No, it was last floor. I remember to use Dreamcatcher today. Okay, that's fine. I know we didn't get like a soul heart. I'm s what in the world? I'm I don't know why my own spiders didn't go attack that guy, but I don't know why I just let my that like let myself take damage like that. Here we go. That's pretty cool. It doesn't even matter how much damage we take on this floor, because no matter what, guess what? We're gonna be at a half heart of health at the beginning of the next floor, which is not super fun. It's not anything we want to have, but what's going to happen? I am going to go bomb pretty much everything I can. There should be some skulls I can bomb somewhere. Hopefully. Are there skulls in this, the curse room that I just missed out on? I could go check. Health doesn't really matter right now because I'm just going to lose it. So I just need to use it or lose it. And what was in here? No skulls. Are there really no skulls anywhere? Dang. Now there are chests which I am gonna go get. This is about to get very dangerous very quickly. I really just despise Blood Oath. It's not a good item. Like whatsoever. Dang. Is there, is there not a way to get to those? I wish it's like an invisible walkway. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, there should be a, a super secret room like right here, right? Nice. And that right there might have just saved my life. I'm going to take shot speed up because shot speed up's not bad. It lets me hit enemies a little bit faster. I'm dumb. Dang. Oh, well, I guess I'm going regular path. I'm so... Man. That's such a misplay right there. And what is this? Jelly Belly? I think it's Jelly Belly. I'm just not going to go to the item... I have to go to the item room. I don't know. I for completely forgot I hadn't opened that door. I don't know why I hadn't opened that door up yet. No matter what, I was going to lose, like, all my black art health. And so I should have just done that. I don't know. It's fine, though. Um, I will just open up everything. We're going to explore all the possibilities on this floor. And we don't have that many bombs. Weirdly enough, I thought we had a lot more bombs. We, we are getting a bunch of health ups. I think I might take safety scissors. I know it's a weird choice after just having the shot speed up, but we haven't had, like... Our other trinket wasn't that good. You know what? I might just go beast today. Who knows? Is that a good idea? Probably not. Is it a bad idea? Probably not. I feel like we ah, actually beast is a little bit rough. Dang, that sucks. You have to have uh, pay to win before you get on the floor.
for you to be able to get a reroll machine in the item room. So, oh my gosh. I got so scared there. I was like, dang, I'm just taking damage. This is the end. I got lucky. And hopefully we can get Abaddon on this floor. If we can get Abaddon, that's going to be really nice because I definitely just don't want red heart health. I'd rather turn all this red heart health into something else. Do I have like some weird tier height right now? Like what's happening here? Why is my tier height just oddly high? I'm very confused by that. We are on depths two right now, which we should be fine. This is just a little bit rough. Okay, good. We have bombs. That's Butterbean. I was saying that I just won't come into the um, come into the item room, but I realized that no matter what, if I come into the item room or not, it's not like I'll get a planetarium because I don't have anything that lets me get planetariums on the next floor in Womb. And, ooh, this is good. I forgot that we do have Keeper Sack. If I just buy everything here, we can just get a bunch of free stats such as damage, health, bombs, and all the such. Okay, please take me to the devil deal. And that's not exactly what I meant, but that's fine. I'll take you. We'll come here. And I know this is a waste right here, but I am going to take Hoopon again. Now, I would go to Beast right now. The only issue is, is I want to get another devil deal, and I have a good chance of getting another devil deal. Here's a random dice from effect. Dang, if you insist. Jeez. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's actually sick. I So one of the scariest things about the uh, reverse, whatever that card was, uh, is that you can just simply, oh my gosh, um, get a D100 and reroll everything. Now, is that the worst thing ever? Kind of, honestly, yeah. Uh, it's not something we necessarily want to happen. It definitely could. Okay. The magician's not good, honestly. I'll be back. Let's go see. I need more health. Really bad. Reverse strength could be pretty good. I'm just going to do this. Oh my gosh. I, I cannot play today. I forgot which button you use, like you do to use cards. I am on... Oh the wrong floor right now okay uh we'll take the full card just in case i missed out on boss rush we should be good right here man i've not fought regular mother in so long kind of refreshing and oh my gosh i got the devil deal i didn't want the devil deal we'll take you because you get free devil deals and i'm just gonna take the full card and I need to go find the super duper ultra duper secret room. So let me go up here real quick. I want to make sure that no, there is no health in here, which there usually is. If you guys didn't know. Um, not usually, but there's a good chance that a red heart or any heart will spawn in the sacrifice room. And I think it can be any heart. I found, I think, an eternal heart, a soul heart, and probably a black heart in there before. And what do you guys have? Oh my gosh. Oh wait, that's... I am, I don't know. I'm just so dumb. I'm going to be honest. I don't know what's wrong with me. I literally have infinite bomb spawning right now. And I almost just went through this without doing the infinite bomb spawning. You might be like infinite bomb spawning. Yes. If you have safety scissors, it's the, it's the lowest item game break pretty much like in the game. Now, if I had a reroll machine in the shop, we'd be a lot better off right now. Sadly, we do not have a reroll machine in the shop. It's not super good for us. And I am going to get as many bombs as I can. I want to get 900. I want to get 999 bombs. 999. 99. Oh my gosh. I want to get that many bombs. All of them. I don't know. I feel like some people like function very well with little sleep. I function so badly. I don't know. It's mainly because I've gotten six hours of sleep the past, I don't know, three nights in a row. And six hours of sleep is not bad. It really isn't bad, but like you need to not get three six hours of sleep like every single night. Some people do. Some people know how to function or can function a little bit high, higher off of it, but so I need I need like 10 hours of sleep a night if I really want to be functioning. But if I get 11 hours of sleep a night, I'm just as bad off. I'm just, just as tired. Okay. I'm 
Nice. I can do this a lot faster, I guess. Kind of going very slow. Okay. okay. I'm just doing this to make sure there's more than enough bombs everywhere. That way I can donate a bunch and still have a lot of bombs. And here we go. We're going for infinite money now. Oh my gosh, you can give us... Did I blow up the Devil Beggar? No, the Devil Beggar paid out. That's crazy. What in the world? I didn't know the Devil... I didn't know the Bomb Beggar could give you soul hearts. And the fact that he's paid out with the soul heart again right after was crazy. But that actually puts us at really good health. And like, I could. I could go for Beast right now, but I just don't think it's worth it whatsoever. I feel like it'd actually be very not worth it. And I'm just going to donate my money... What else we can do? I am going to go to the curse room real quick. Forgot that was an option. Nice. And now we actually have a decent... We have a lot of money in the donation machine now. We were really, really broke for a while. Now we're not as broke. And the reason why we really want to go into curse rooms is because curse rooms are simply just better because we do have Voodoo Hat. And what Voodoo Hat does is it makes it so curse rooms are just better. And we get two of them normally. There are instances like on this floor where we don't get two of them. I think it's because we got two special rooms to spawn. Maybe because we got both a curse room or a sacrifice room and something else. I don't know. I really don't know. Uh, magician, don't need you. It's not bad. And I should just find the super secret room, shouldn't I? Well, I should just do that. Yeah, simple. Nice. And we should be able to get one more devil deal, hopefully. Maybe two if we're lucky. I think we did just get a 33% chance or something. And look at this damage. Now, not bad. One thing that's really cool is if you have, what is it? Um, Gimpy or like old bandage or something with, with blood oath, you can actually get like most of your health back very, very quickly. Because what happens is, is as soon as you take damage, each hit of damage, each half heart of damage counts as a tick of damage. Um, which means that items that spawn health off of damage also proc, which is really cool. So same thing with like Bloody Gust and stuff. It's also really good uh, to have that because the damage does count towards those items. So you can get max damage very, very easily. And th th it is like a good, it is good to have. It's not bad. Like I just don't like it for the most part, especially starting a run with it. I'd rather like have good items and then, then decide to pick it up than to just get it and have to live with it. Are there any... I feel like there's going to be a crawl space on this floor. There usually are crawl spaces on most floors. I'm not bombing everything. I know I just should since I started bombing stuff, but... I do need to get as much health as I can just to make sure I am getting as much damage as I can each floor. The more damage, the higher chance of living I have. Guppy's paw is pretty sick, actually. I don't know if it's actually worth it whatsoever. And man, I'm so thirsty. I need water. I'll get water after this. And man, I'm taking a lot of damage. Nice. And have I found the secret room yet? I've not. Nice. And this cannot be the secret room. Spoiler alert. You know what? This is it's just the womb. I've not been to womb one in a, in a crazy amount of time as well. That's actually wild. It's not a floor I like going to too often. I'm just going to take dog food now. Come in here. And what we will do is just to get to get the most value out of our health, we'll do this, this, and look at that. Now we have Lusty Blood. Now Lusty Blood is pretty cool. The only thing is we wanted Bloody Lust. Bloody Lust would have been a lot cooler since we do already have Blood Oath, which Blood Oath, Lusty Blood kind of combos together decently well. I mean, I'll never say that that blood oath is the best item ever but there is there's something to say about it and i don't know where the secret is going to be i'm struggling to find it i knew it wasn't going to be there but i just want to check oh my gosh that's not my blood that's crazy i know that it, it's a slightly different color but i just was like oh i just knew in my head that that was my blood and it wasn't okay is it going to be to the left of this room probably Nice. I found pills. I don't really need to use you. Money is cool, but I don't need it. Unless I was able to go to Hush, which I won't be able to go to. 
I might as well full clear because full clearing is what cool people do. I'm just going to do this. Why not? There's curse rooms in here, which curse rooms can be good. The curse, curse rooms have actually just been pretty awful this run. Uh, surprisingly awful, actually. And that was kind of dumb of me because now I'm going to have no health on the next floor. Dang. I should have thought about that. Maybe just a little bit. I'm not using my brain too much. Today's run is sponsored by not my brain. And where is the super secret room? It could be here. It's not going to be though. Uh, I'm going to go to the arena room since I do have full health now. I feel like I should be fine on the next floor as long as I don't take dumb damage, which I do that. I'm, I'm a dumb damage taker. I'll be honest. Forgot it. I completely forgot that those guys exist. I didn't even think about looking to see if it was the four way shooting guys. I've not seen one of those in literal years. I just don't go. I don't go to womb one anymore. Or scarred womb. I, I feel like second womb is usually not scarred womb. I do go to scarred womb every once in a while. And I feel like I just do this, I guess. And that just guarantees I don't die. Now, is that a super smart decision? I, probably not like the absolute best decision I could have made. Especially since I hadn't full cleared and seen this stuff, but that's fine. Okay. I don't know why you guys count. Nice. And I feel like maybe safety scissors was the correct choice. And we are out of here. Not bad. I mean, I think it was a smart idea to get some of our solar health taken away. Because we do not want to be at like half a heart of health. That'd be awful. And man, I love when you find these poop enemies on this floor. Cause they're not like super strong or anything. They're still pretty strong, but it's not the same. Is this the super secret room? No, nope. simply not. Nice. Um, I feel like this run, uh, not this run, this floor, we just speed run a little bit. And I do need to stop using my keys as much. We are going to dark room, which means Keys aren't as as valuable, I guess. They're still very valuable, but it's not like we need every last key because we're going to get the four red chests and not any golden chests. So we good. Nice. And I say this and then I touch these chests right here. You know what? I'm going to do this real quick. Oh my gosh. I, I swear I didn't step on that. I know I did because I literally got damaged, but I didn't think I did. And you know what? We're going crazy now. I don't care what this says. Oh my gosh. What are you? Speed up. I like that. Curse the tower. I like that. What are you? Pheromones. I like that. And please be a secret room. No, I just want my max health. The game doesn't want to give it to me. Okay, what are you gonna give me? No secret room? Okay, sick. Uh, secret room could be here. Could be here. And we found it. Probably should get max money. Oh yeah, I'll probably get max money right here. If you give me steam sale, I'm gonna be kind of sad actually. Thank you. And can I get some keys? Dang, magic skin kind of goes crazy. I feel like I don't need coupon anymore. I will take coupon just to try to get the devil deal real quick, but after that, I'm going to use magic skin. I feel like this could be a crazy magic skin run. Coupon still is useful, but we'll see what we have to do. Hey, okay, good. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is floor is a little bit bigger than I expected. Can't lie. I need to stop using keys. It's that simple. Yeah, it's not as simple as it might seem. I can't stop it. All I do is use keys, always. Hey, come on, watch out. Thank you for the key. I'm gonna open this chest. <laughs> I got a key. Okay, please give me the devil deal. Thank you, kindly. And I honestly, in this room, if I have enough health, I will just run. If you run really fast, the most damage you'll take is approximately one hit of damage. And look at all these worms that are spawning. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. They blocked in a really weird way. 
Okay. Um, we take all of you. I think magic skin is just the way. I believe in it. I want it. And I will go get it. Um, so we take this. We take magic skin. We come in here. We pop this. We get the infinity, which we come out here. We take you. We come in here. Take you. Come out here. Take you. And we flip to the D6. So we flip to D6. We reroll you. I'm going to take transcendence because it's pretty good. And I'm going to take you and see if I can get enough batteries. I think we can. Right? Oh, and I have flight now. So this works. Okay. Okay, sick. That's what I was hoping for. And I'm dumb. Man, I am i don't know what I'm doing. What did I expect there? I don't know what I expected. Well, let's go see if I can find anything. A super secret room could have uh, one of those beggars that gives you battery charges. And if it's right here... I was not going to be surprised, but I was going to be a little, a little sad. I thought I visited everything. Okay. And I was going to go get a haircut today, but after work, I was like, man, I'm just, I'm just not, I'm tired. So I didn't go get a haircut, but one day I will go get a haircut because I really need one pretty badly. And where's the super secret room? I'm going to find it. Because not here. That, what, that did turn into a bomb. Wait, is this a... What am I doing with my life right now? I'm gonna be honest. I don't know. This like this guy is just gonna give me like all the health and stuff in the world and a free bomb item. <laughs> I haven't been capitalizing on him. That is where the super secret room would be, isn't it? Oh my gosh. Wait, what gave me? Oh, it's Dark Prince's Crown. I was like, I, I knew Dark Prince's Crown activated. I just didn't realize what it had given me. Okay. What was in the secret room again? I guess I'll take you because I don't have any charges. And I'll take you for a second. And Magic Skin, you're back. I don't know why. I I don't know why. I, I was like, I can reroll all this stuff. That would have been pretty cool if I did reroll everything, but not really a possibility. Now we'll go next floor, and I know I don't have that much health for devil deals, and so I probably just shouldn't have gone for devil deals this floor. But hello, all the bombs I get for myself. I can do this. Nice. Okay, good. Not bad. And I don't plan on using magic skin this floor i do want to wait till next floor and try to find the secret room or something i will go bomb all those skulls in there as well as this i forgot i had lightning Ooh, wait a sec that's a really really that's a really solid card right there i'm actually gonna take it with me it could be really good and Using the strength card just means I do a lot more damage on the rest of this floor. Stud finder's not bad. I just don't need money. I don't know why he keeps giving me money. Okay. Nice. What's in the sacrifice room? Ooh, a soul heart's in the sacrifice room. That's actually kind of crazy. Did I already lose my strength card? Was that is that only for one room? I don't know. But if I can donate a bunch of health, that'd be pretty cool. Nice. I don't need the hermit card. I just literally can't use it. I'm just blowing up everything because I want to find crawl spaces. And that's about it, honestly. In secret room, can you be here, please? Nope. I don't think it could have been there no matter what. But I was hoping, you know. I really was hoping. That's just regular health. And guess what? One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four. That's pretty hype. Can't lie. Today during work, I was I drew a picture. I was just drawing pictures all of work. Cause that's what I always do. Cause I, what my mentality is: if they get mad at me for drawing pictures, then that's on them. You know. I'm just drawing pictures. I have downtime, especially when kids are doing like the most basic math. 
uh, like imaginable i'm just like okay uh, there's not much i can really help them on especially if they understand what they're doing that's when i like draw if a cat if a kid understands what they're doing and i've seen them do like two whole pages without my help i'll just go draw pictures why because i i there's nothing i can do if i see them get something wrong at that point i will help them before that no i'm just having a great time dang i don't have the coupon anymore so things are a little different than originally uh please be the secret room i need the secret room please thank you there we go there's the secret room okay it's coming here i don't need the money funnily enough and watch i don't want to do that actually it's not worth taking damage for oh my gosh you did damage to me that's crazy i thought i would kill him faster i do have a lot of damage but I, at the same time don't have as much damage as i would expect i do want to go to the curse room i can get the curse room for free can't i i'm taking you i can i can fight mega satan actually i can't even fight mega satan this run i always forget the fact that you actually have to i mean have to grab the key pieces I could sacrifice technically, but I do not have enough health for that. So. What are you? Is there no pretty fly in here? I can't really do anything with you. Luck down is quite horrendous. And yeah, this is going to be an interesting, interesting time to be alive. Let's see what we can get. Okay. So we take damage no matter what. Damage is taken, and I don't know why the troll the troll bombs keep on scaring me when they really shouldn't. And dang, um, I'm gonna take you because one red heart of health means that I can get uh, Dark Prince's crown, which is actually a really good item for me to get activated because it gives me just a lot more tier rate. And dang, troll bombs are hype. I'm not even gonna be able to do much. Ooh, oh my gosh, I love Proptosis. Is it good? Not really, but it could be good. And out of Sarah, you just don't want to go below. Actually, no, that's dark when you don't want to go below. Oh, wait a sec. If I just use this, but the damage never lessens, and so they will just run into it and take crazy damage. So please don't pop them and kill me. Thank you. Yeah, if I just leave them in the anti-gravity state, they will never get weaker. But I do need to kind of kill enemies so i'm gonna actually shoot a little bit nice and where's the secret room that is the biggest question i have right now what are you adrenaline does get a spun which is pretty cool i do have backstabber don't i i've not really procced it too many times this game but it would be quite useful let's bomb you i was hoping for magic mush and i don't have any health so it's not like i really I'm in the running for uh, Dark versus Crown right now. Nice. Wince isn't bad. I would like to get conjoined. I'm going to keep on full clearing. It's not like I have that much left to do on this. You know what? That's sick. It's not like I have that much left to do on this run. I'm just going to do this. And oh my gosh. Wait, now we're actually getting some crazy stuff. Hold a, hold on a second. Okay, I have the secret room. I might as well... Dang, do I want to pay out the secret room? I don't know if I do. The fruitcake's actually a little scary. Ooh, that's another health up. So guess what? That means I'm actually going to go straight into the secret room and do this. And you know what? I'm taking it. I know it's a bad item for me to take. It is a damage down. It's worthwhile. Why? I don't know. It's just a mushroom item. I like mushroom items. And that right there is conjoined. So that means just crazy damage. Jeez. Everything is just dying. Little chest is fun. Soul of Eve is not super good. I want to see how fast we can kill the lamb. It should be quite quick. I know. Full clearing. Kind of whack. But I'm doing it. You have to. It's the requirement of the law. Ooh. Ooh, apple's really good. I don't want well, Uji board. I know it's not Uji board. I know it's Ouija board, but oh my gosh, wait a sec. 
No, I do want Ouija board. And I'll take the chariot. Nice. And I don't know if the compound tiers. I'm just doing this. Why not? I don't know if the compound tiers reset the damage for proptosis or not. Kind of seems like it does because I'm doing a lot of damage. Uh, but I am going to go. You know what I'm going to do? What do I want to do here? I feel like I'm just going to do magic skin. And that's interesting. And what other items do I have? I have you that rolls down to not much. I have you that rolls down to it. I was like, how did I lose like my item that got rid of troll bombs? I forgot it was a trinket. So now it makes a little bit more sense. Okay, well, you know what? All is good. Let me get out of here. I don't want I'm not gonna use magic skin again. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna take damage really quickly in a second. And there we go. That right there is the run. I could have gone to Delirium, but Delirium is a little too scary for me on this day. For a second, I looked over and thought I was still on my full screen face, which would have been horrific. Anyways, that right there is going to be win number 326 in a row. If you guys did like that video, please leave a like. That's all I'm asking. Thank you guys. Love you all. Thank you guys for watching. And always, as always, it's been Freets. Peace out. Bye.